In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Josh Schmidt is a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player with three Yu-Gi-Oh championship series wins. He is also known for making YouTube videos about the current meta and for his Twitch stream where his chat makes fun of him for not knowing Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Today we find out if he does in fact know his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price. I believe we're on episode 16 at this point, which is a lot of episodes. And today we have Josh, a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player that also does content. So uh, we're going to see if professional Yu-Gi-Oh players really know anything about card prices. Uh, how are you feeling today, Josh? I'm feeling great. I'm excited. Uh, I, I do have to tell you beforehand that we do... We do watch these on stream every once in a while, and when I compare myself to the people on here, I don't always do that well. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, you know a, a running gag on my stream how bad I am with card prices. As much as I you know know how to play with these cards, I don't really know how to you know uh, do the do the investments and all that type of stuff. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, that sounds great for my wall. It sounds terrible <laughs> for the viewers, but if you're a viewer, you just got to root for Josh. Maybe today's the day. He really gets it together and gets all the prices right. I'm not going to lie. I was putting this quiz together. I tried not to do duplicates. We're getting into some really niche stuff. Oh, so gosh. good luck with this quiz. Oh, it might God. be difficult. Are you ready to get into question one? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let's get it over with. <laughs> kind of work. ready. Let's do it. All right. Question one. A very new card. The Baron de Floor Collector mm. Rare First Edition from Maze of Memory. So it's pretty recent. I don't know if you've checked recently, but it hasn't been out that long. So maybe you know the price. Yeah. It's like I, I was hoping I was hoping that you would give me more like meta relevant recent kind of stuff because i've never been much of a you know collector yeah sadly actually i wish i kept some of those you know cool cards from back in the day as like a collectible but i didn't yeah i remember checking this one eu prices shortly after <laughs> oh it yeah came you out. also have the uh, the whole issue with being in a different country I, so that's gonna make it even harder <laughs> i think that's what's gonna cost me like a couple you know bucks off on on some of these cards i i don't exactly know where this one is right now i remember this one being definitely over over a hundred in in EU uh, when I checked it the last time, which is like a reasonable thing for it to be at. I don't see this card being under a hundred, so this is this is tier two then, right? Is I'll go I'll go over the tiers mm -hmm. again. It's zero to a hundred yeah. for tier one, hundred and one to two fifty for tier two, and then two fifty one plus for tier three. So I'm I'm pretty sure this is a tier two card then. I think it's around the 150 mark in in europe at least like you know shortly after release which is like a week ago or something maybe i checked it like one and a half weeks ago i don't exactly remember but since they're never like you know 150 on the dot i'm just gonna say i'm always gonna pick like arbitrary numbers uh it's like i'm, I'm gonna say it's 152 okay 152 dollars on your first guess you're convert are you converting these in your mind to usd every time or are you just like trying to guess close to what you know uh uh, yeah, I, I just I think that's the euro number, but I think they're close to each other. Honest, anyways. Yeah, so. they've they've gotten a lot closer where it's yeah. like the conversion rate. I, I remember when euro used to be way higher, just like a couple yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago. It's but not like that anymore. Okay, one hundred fifty-two dollars. Don't forget you have three lifelines as we go through. Mm -hmm. Uh, your worst one will get dropped, everything like that. So the first question: Baron de Floor, Collector Rare, First Edition, Maze of Memories. You said tier two. Yeah. It is tier two. Nice. But okay, okay. it's two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty? Yes. <laughs> oh my god! It's not I'm pretty that. sure that it's gone up because when I was looking this price up, the last I saw it was like one hundred and ninety, and then I looked and the lowest was two fifty. Oh. So I guess people are buying this card, but it makes sense because it's a good card. But yeah, two fifty is pretty expensive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I'm. I'm. Okay. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember that for future questions to always shoot a little bit higher, maybe. Okay. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of comments where people are like, it's not that much in Europe, and I'm like, well, I'm not in Europe, so yeah. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, question one, not the worst. It's getting dropped at the moment because it's your worst guess because it's your only guess, but we'll go to question number two, see if you can redeem yourself a little bit there. It's the Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, Starlight Rare First Edition from Photon Hypernova. I am 99% sure that this is a tier three card. I don't know exactly how high I need to go because I feel like, like the first number that popped up in my head is around 400, which I think I saw this being sold for 400 at some point once again i think that's eu prices i have in my mind i'm not sure i'm pretty sure that's like the right ballpark somewhat like maybe it could be like 350 it could be 450 i can't really see it being 
that much higher but branded is a very popular deck so i think it's one of those starlight rares that's definitely like on the on the higher end so i do think this i'm 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 definitely gonna put this into tier three your gut went straight to 400 see have you like looked this price up or like is that just like i you just feel like it should be 400 i think we've talked about it on stream at some point like weeks ago and then we checked it yeah. and i think it was around 400 just like you know every once in a while on stream i'm like yo how much is that card by the way when like someone shows it in a deck profile or something and then yeah I, I, and i think i remember it being in the ballpark of 400 now once again that was the eu price so i'm wondering if i should you know shoot a little bit higher than that or if i'm if i'm good like that i don't know exactly i think that's a price that makes sense somewhere around the 350 to 400 for this is like because it's yeah. relatively new like if it was older and branded was still relevant then it'd probably go even higher than that right i'm wondering if i should just guess or if i should use a lifeline to make sure i don't like bomb it completely because like on the starlights on the tier threes you can really you know you can really do a lot wrong true you true yeah so it depends on how confident you are in your gut because you did say you looked it up at some point if you want to use one on something that you you might want to save it you know in the future if you think there's one you have no idea or maybe you just want to lock this one in and get a great guess it's up to you <laughs> well chances are there will be something where i have no idea oh there is oh okay <laughs> Based <laughs> well, on this okay, quiz, then... I, there probably is <laughs> <laughs> then i i am pretty confident that it was around 400 when i looked it up maybe a little bit lower than that so i'm just gonna say let me say 397 on this one 397 so you want to go with the arbitrary number you're not feeling like going the exact number right it's never flat uh the hundred no shot. yeah it's never the flat it's no. never the flat hundred okay so are you ready yeah you're you're locked in you're you're 100 sure <laughs> you don't ask me like that <laughs> i just want you to i just want to be sure <laughs> yeah okay i'm locking in i'm locking it in okay all right all right mirror jade the ice blade dragon starlight rare first edition for photon hibernova josh says they're never the flat number oh god he dude. said 400 was his gut is it 400 but he guessed 397 it's 400 dollars. no oh my god <laughs> you were saying you were talking about flat. 400 they're never the, the flat time. number oh my god i couldn't believe it was like uh, it's never the flat number but either way you're still three away i mean you almost got the 25 dollar credit which would have been insane but you still get the 10 and you're only three off so you really made money back on that one that's still pretty good you're gonna need all that money it still feels like i lost <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you lost because you were so close yeah. but honestly a really really good round for a tier three yeah. you've just locked in a profit on a tier three yeah. so that's really good all right question number three one average guess and one great guess now you're on to the third question i feel like those two were probably your best chance of getting them right uh -oh. if you are more of a meta guy you know a a competitive player but we'll see maybe you know some of this stuff the third question is elemental hero lady heat secret rare from premium pack 2. i do think i know that this is the one of those that's like normally a super rare right premium pack 2 yeah they had some that were super some that were secrets as well yeah there were some where like it was i don't know how exactly it worked where like they were regular super rares but then very rarely you would get them as a secret rare yeah pr for a long time people thought they were errors but i think it was just how the set worked um for the most part but they were pretty rare right well they're harder a lot harder to pull than the supers okay i have no idea i have literally no <laughs> idea keep in mind you're gonna have three of each tier tier one tier two tier three and then a bonus one keep that in mind yeah no i have no idea i'm i if i had to give a well, blind guess i would say since this card is pretty bad maybe it's like a high tier one but i have no idea on how to confirm that so i'm trying to think if i use the i'm, I'm gonna use a lifeline on this one because i don't know exactly how rare these were and maybe they're like this crazy collectible that's more expensive than i'm thinking but i'm thinking it's like a it's a bad card but it is relatively rare and relatively old so maybe it's like middle tier one high tier one which is like still a lot of money for like a card like this that basically has no like usage yeah there's a lifeline for that right okay so your three lifelines are you could i can tell you which tier you're in tier one two or three Mm -hmm. or I could, you can pick a number and I it's lower or higher I tell you if it's lower than that or higher than that and then there's one where you completely replace this question with another question from the same tier tell me if this is higher or lower than 75 the lower or higher question of $75 the elemental hero lady heat secret rare is higher than $75 okay now I'm even more confused than before why <laughs> now, part... now you're like is it like high tier one or is it like a $500 card uh, I don't know I shouldn't have asked like that oh god damn it yeah people people do that with the lower or higher Sometimes it makes it worse when you know lower or higher. You know what? I will just go with my gut. And if it's like, if this card ends up being really, really expensive, I guess it's just going to be my worst guess. And it's just like, we're going to keep the Barone in, <laughs> the Barone incident. But I'm just going to say this is high tier one. And I'll just say like, 
higher than 75, so let's go with... Let's go with 92. 92, okay. So, use the lifeline, over 75, and it just made you more confused, but you ended up sticking with the same exact thing that you said before you used the lifeline, which was higher tier one. Let's see if it paid off on your third question. Elemental Hero Lady Heat Secret Rare from Premium Pack 2. You guessed 92. Mm -hmm. It's $99. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> you had it the whole time. You were on track. You were like, yeah, I think this is probably, it feels like it would probably be a higher tier one. Yeah. And then you were like, oh, or is it 500 bucks? I'm not really sure. Yeah, it, it threw me off the fact I, I should have just asked for the tier, but this is still a lot of money. 99 for, for this card. That's uh, kind of crazy. Yeah, I guess it is yeah. a hero. I was a little bit surprised when I saw this. I was oh. like, this is very expensive. I guess this is the elemental hero slash lady is uh, really helping it out, yeah. but still, yeah, great guess. You're making money on the last two. We're a third of the way in. You've already made money on two of them, so not bad. Let's go to question four. Breath of Light, super rare, oh, limited God. edition, oh. Duelist League promo. God damn it. I've seen this card like once in my life. What do you mean? <laughs> I saw this as I was going through and I was like, I got to ask this question. <laughs> no, you didn't have to. Is, you but... didn't have to do that. No one forced you to do that. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Hey, you have lifelines, so you're safe there. You could uh, always swap this out and not even have to guess this one. Yeah, I, I need to swap this one out. I have no clue. I have no idea. <laughs> I have, like, nah. Are you actually saying you want to swap it oh, out? Yeah, or are you swapping. thinking? I was waiting for oh, okay, the Okay, okay. I was like, oh, are we thinking or what? Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. No, I have we no are clue using the lifeline. We are swapping this one out. I thought you were like casually, like, yeah, I should probably swap this one out. And then you started thinking, and then we just sat there for like 10 seconds. So I was like, okay. All right. We are officially using our second lifeline. We are not going to answer this question. First of all, give me a guess on what you would have said on this one. I can tell you what it is later. There's a world where this is expensive, I, but I have no idea. So I'm just going to say, like, I don't know, 175. But I. Oh, no. Okay, 175. All right, we'll lock that in. You're at 175 guests. Doesn't count anyway, but it's yeah. just for fun. Keep in mind, that would be tier two. Yeah. Like if this next one is the same tier, if you're right about that, then this one is also. So that could help you out with this next question. Let me get the replacement here. Your replacement question is the Ancient Fairy Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition from Ancient Prophecy. So that means that breath card was definitely not cheap. Or does it? I don't know. How much is Ancient Fairy worth? Well, it's not cheap. <laughs> I don't know exactly how <laughs> expensive it is. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm like, the, the one thing I'll, I'm gonna need to figure out for myself is whether this card is tier two or tier three, because it's definitely at least tier two. There's no way you find the first edition Ultimate Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon for, for like tier one money. There's no shot. So like the, the breath was probably up there. My gut is telling me that Ultimate Rare Fairy Dragon then might even creep into tier three it's not i don't think it's the highest rarity of ancient fairy like people consider the ghost rare higher even though i think there's an argument to be made that the ultimate rare looks better well some people prefer it, but it's definitely not rarer <laughs> than the ghost rare so i think it's like at least 200 but it might creep into tier three but i'm not sure how okay. confident i am on that so we're looking at like a 200 to low tier three ballpark is what you're thinking that's about. what i'm thinking yeah okay based on the fact that i don't really know whether the the spell card before that was in tier two or three three but i would rather put it into tier two somewhere i'm also gonna throw the ancient fairy i think into tier two but i'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bets a little bit and go a little bit higher in tier two, just in case it's in tier three, so it might not be a complete disaster. So I think I'm gonna throw the Ancient Fairy Dragon at a, at a 249. 249, you're throwing it right at the edge of tier two. Okay, you confident in that? You ready to go? somewhat confident but we have to get it done you know okay question four so this has been an eventful question because we started off with a card that i've never really heard of you've never heard of it you swapped it out i've got good news and i've got bad news for this one. Oh god okay the bad news is the breath of light super rare is 180 dollars, and you guessed 175 okay but that's yeah okay i see the good news now so the good news is the ancient fairy dragon ultimate rare first edition is 236 dollars well that's pretty good so you're only 13 off you're in the right tier oh. so you had your bets correctly putting in the right tier so you really were only off three after your ten dollar credit you would have been better to use the breath but at the same time not that much better you did there was pretty like, good yeah, on but both there was of them. no way i could have just locked that in i had no idea on that i was like wow 175 he almost <laughs> nailed it by accident okay but still three in a row you've kind of crushed but you are only down to one lifeline yep. you do still have one that could get dropped but you want to drop the baron if possible yep. we're gonna have to see what happens six more questions let's get to question five the midway point the scarlight red dragon archfiend ghost rare first edition from Dimension of Chaos. This is a weird one. I've seen it before. <laughs> That's the good news. You have seen this card? 
Yeah. Now, the weird thing is, in my mind, ghost rares are, like, this super expensive rarity where every time, like, you know, a main set ghost rare, I just automatically assume it's very expensive. However, the mention of chaos is one of the... When we're speaking timeline of main set ghost rares, I think this is one of the newer ones. This is the last ghost rare or, co or main set with a ghost rare until they brought him back. So it was, like, 2015. It's not that old, and it's also not as iconic as like you know any of the signer dragons you know it's not like it's not a stardust or ancient fairy or whatever like if it was one of those i know those are tier three cards as of right now you have had two tier two one tier one one tier three this is my problem right now because i'm i'm starting to metagame in my head and i'm like do you really give yeah. me the third tier two i don't know would i have done that yeah, Who knows? see that's my problem because that's where i would put this if if this was the first question i'd be like this is a tier two card no way it's anything else yeah that's not how my mind works when we're on question number five and if i've already had two tier two cards <laughs> no, this is where the professional Yu-Gi-Oh player comes in let's how, see if it works out you see how that'd be a problem because i don't know if you just randomize <laughs> these or if you actually, uh, you know, uh, because if this was a tier two, I would know for the remaining for the remaining ones that they are not tier two. Well, you would know that there could be one more tier two. Like in theory, I could have the fourth one as a tier two. Can that be at any point in the quiz? I could do it at any point. It doesn't have to be at the end. I could. I have never done that before. I'll tell you that. So uh, this would be the first time. Oh god. But I'm just letting you know. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't think this is the tier two. I'm going to metagame you. I don't think this is the tier two. The problem okay. is that leads me to another problem because I can't really imagine this card being a tier three, but I also can't imagine it being a tier one. <laughs> So I'm really yeah, the problem a, with I, that is a, if you if you avoid tier two, you're like if you pick the wrong one, you're pretty far off because you're you know pretty pick far three. Off. You could hedge your bets, go in tier two, and just get in the middle, or you could go you know go for the gusto and go pick which one you think it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna either say 99 or 251. All right, you've decided that you're going for the gusto. Which one are you picking? Let us know which one. 251. 251 dollars. You're locking it in. Oh, you're very quiet. I don't like that. You don't seem too certain about this. I am not very certain about this. Okay. You've given yourself two <laughs> options, so I guess you just got to pick one. Yeah. Unless you want to use the tier, which could, you know, tell okay, you okay. To which one to am pick. Am I allowed? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating if I do that now. If you do what? Ask for the tier? Yeah. Well, you didn't lock it in. Why didn't? I felt like I did. Okay, well. All uh, right. Uh, well, do you want to lock it in? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got to make a decision, man. Okay, tell me the tier. Tell me the tier, rip my lifeline. Okay, line. you're using the lifeline, are you sure? I am using the lifeline. All right, the last and final lifeline. This is the fastest we've used all the lifelines before, but you're having a good quiz, so it's a good decision, I think, because this one is in tier one. Oh, God damn it. That's, that's, that's not very expensive. Well, then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw something higher end of, of tier one at you. Just like random number that pops up in my mind. 84. 84 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Eight, four dollars. So you abandoned your uh, your $99. Well, now that I don't 84. know, I, I was the, the 99 was to hedge as close as possible to tier two. But yeah, it makes sense. Okay, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare First Edition Dimension of Chaos. You almost said 251, yeah. but not quite. This card is $95. Okay. <laughs> so you, you walked away from your your 99 would have been a great guess i was yeah, i thought you were gonna like, guess that for a long time but that's okay still a great guess you're still looking good but now you're on your own there's no oh, lifelines no. you just gotta dominate the rest of the way don't worry to. these are all easy cards the rest of the way no big deal you got this <laughs> all right so you have two tier one Two tier tier, one tier three. On to question number six. That's the halfway point. No more lifelines. Let's see what number six is. Dark the Dark Charmer, Gloomy, Starlight Rare, First Edition for Battles of Chaos. <laughs> I have one of these. Hey. Oh. I do have oh. one of these. It's one of like the two Starlight Rares I own. Okay, that's a good sign. Do you know the price? <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up once again. This is Euro prices. I picked it up a, a long time ago for around 250, I think, which I know that's it. It's it's more now because I've 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 looked back into it. I know that by Euro prices. Once again, I've looked it up a couple weeks ago. This is between four and five hundred in, in, in Europe. I'm like 99 percent sure that's the ballpark we're in. If we're talking Euro, I know there's a lot of hype surrounding some of the charmers starlights in the u.s like some of them are like unreasonably expensive like the uh i think area win 
Kita, some of them. I don't know exactly which ones, but some of them are apparently like super expensive. Yeah. I am just trying to pinpoint where exactly between four and 500 I go, if I go higher end or lower end. I'm pretty sure for Europe, it's like, maybe it's around like the 410, the 420. So maybe if I'm, I, I tend to guess a little bit lower than I should, I think for US prices, except for the, except for the Scarlet. We don't talk about that. <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to throw like a 4, 4.35. Five at you. Four thirty-five. All right. No, I can't. I can't say you want to use a lifeline because you're out. Yep. So at this point, it's are we hundred percent sure we're going in? You want to hear the answer? Yes, I want to hear the answer. Okay. Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy Starlight Rare First Edition for Battles of Chaos. So you own this card. I do. I've got two things of bad news for you. It's only three hundred fifty-five dollars. Okay. So uh, your card is now not worth as much as you thought, <laughs> and you're eighty dollars off. So it's a double bad, whammy. I can live with <laughs> but that. no, eighty bucks. You're actually better than the Baron. Yeah. You're in the right tier. So it's really terrible. Not terrible. Yeah, actually. I can it's pretty solid. That. I can live with that. You had a ballpark idea. I mean, it could be a lot worse, especially tier threes. You know, they yeah. can go wonky. So that's okay. Not the worst thing ever. Let's go to question seven. Let's see if you know this one. Dimensional Fissure, super rare from Champion Pack Eight. This is. This is way too old and rare of a card. Like champion pack supers are are crazy. Like when I've, I I I I don't remember ever looking at a champion pack super rare's price and being like, yeah, this is reasonable. Like it's never happened before. Like I, <laughs> yeah, this is like uh, maybe I'd actually buy. You no, know, <laughs> every once in a while I look at these cards. I get, I feel nostalgic about them. I go online. I check the price and I'm like, you know what? I don't miss it that badly. You know, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to have it that yeah. badly. So I'm pretty sure dimensional fissure is no exception to that. Now I don't remember the. The last time I ever checked this price like I don't know I, I can't get any more help so I know this is at least tier two and if even if it is tier two I would guess that it's relatively high up there like I could see this card being like around 200 easily I don't know if it can be more than that I could also see it being like 150 but I don't think I'm gonna guess lower than 150 there's like there's no work no, like in my mind there's no way this is less than 150 I don't want to shoot too high just in case i am wrong and it ends up being like 120 which it would shock me but it's not like you know uh, completely un unheard of i think i'm leaning more towards the ballpark of like 200 because it wouldn't even surprise me if it ends up being like a 250 card or 230 or something so i'm just gonna hit you with a solid 200 no i'm gonna hit you with i was joking i'm, I'm gonna hit you with a hundred and ninety three one hundred and ninety three dollars for the dimensional fissure super rare champion pack eight okay you were all over the place with that you're like it could be 120 could be 250 yep. it's somewhere in there i will tell you that you were in the right range yep Okay. But it's only $130. Oh, really? Okay. That That is one of the less outrageous prices for a champion pack super that I've seen. A lot of the time, champion pack supers are like 200 yeah. plus. So I see why you were in that range. Yeah. And I'm guessing, I really don't know why this is, this is less. <laughs> okay. Because a lot of times they're 200, 300. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was thinking of like some like, you know, book of moons and bottomlesses that are like out of this world. And, you know, I, was, I yeah. felt like Fisher is like relevant enough in like old formats and nostalgia and whatnot that it might be, you know, but it, that's fine. I think champion pack eight might be a lot, might be easier, especially than champion pack one. That's really hard to find with like the book of moon. Oh, yeah. They, they are stuff. significantly older even yeah or yeah then uh, several years over those champion pack eights but not a terrible guess you're still doing fine that one's fine honestly on a good track we got three to go though that was your last tier three or tier two yep. plus maybe one more who knows i'm not going to tell you if that's the case or not but question eight let's see what this next one is going to give you and see if you know it elemental hero wild heart super rare unlimited from dark revelation 4 i i love a lot of those cards from dr4 but whenever i look at one at, at its price i'm like i really don't need it that badly because dr4 is like for some reason i don't actually remember the reason but for some reason i think those cards are super super rare and hard to find yeah the, it's a it's a weird set for sure compared to the other like dr1 through 3 where there was you know not as it's pretty pretty common compared to this uh you mean dr1 to 3 are pretty common compared to this? Yeah, it could be, yeah, Dark Revelation 1, 2, and 3, they seem to be more prevalent than Dark Revelation 4. I, I think there is no way that this is a tier 1 card, because it's a hero, it's DR4 super rare, which is very hard to find. Once again, if we didn't go through three tier 2s yet, I would probably put this in the high tier 2, but this makes me think it has to be a tier 3 card, which I don't think is... I, I can I can believe that. I can believe that. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I, 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 I can believe that for a DR4 hero super rare. So I'm going to throw it into tier three. 
I, I think I'm going to guess somewhere between 250 and 350. I don't know if I if there's anything I can do to get closer to a potential answer. Probably not. So I'm just going to I'm just going to throw a number at you that's that pops up in my mind. 279. 279 dollars for the Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Super rare from Dark Revelation 4. OK, you're ready to hear the answer. Yep. You metagamed. You said this could this can't be tier two. And you were right. It's not tier two. This card is $100. It is $1 away from tier oh, two. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Okay, I'm being metagamed while metagaming. All right. <laughs> this is a this is a very, uh, this Dark Revelation 4 is really, really tough because like some of the prices are outrageous. Yeah. And there's really no reason to it. Yeah. So your reasoning for it being like a hero, rare set, it made sense, but didn't quite get to that price. Unfortunate. Okay, well. Unfortunately, but you are dropping that one. So now the Baron's in at $98 off minus the tier. So not terrible. If you can end with that being your worst, you're still going to do pretty good. All right. All right. Question number nine. You have the Exodia, the Forbidden One, Secret Rare from Dark Duel Stories. And then question 10 is the Beast Gold Dragon, Super Rare from Tournament Pack 3. Oh, why does it have to be two really old ones? Oh, God damn. Okay. So DDS... Exodia, just to clarify, because I'm not 100% sure, but this is the same card, like the same, this is from a game, and it's the same exact yeah. game where you get the blue eyes from, right? Yeah, blue eyes and dark magician and Exodia are the three pros. Those are the three pros. Then they had a that. second wave with like the pink dragon and the salamandra and stuff, but this was all in the first wave. Okay, so I am, um, in that case, I'm pretty sure that this one is a tier three card. Of course, the beast skull dragon might also be, we're going to get around to that in a little bit, but the Exodia, I, I know that the DDS is very very expensive the blue eyes at least and i don't really see a reason why the exodia wouldn't also be expensive because i i've seen these blue eyes go for like pretty good money i don't remember the exact ballpark though i, I, I yeah I, I can't really it's also been a couple of years since i've been you know confronted with one of these but i know that the blue eyes was always like money I, like I, I think even years ago the blue eyes was already like 200s or something so i'm i'm guessing since they only get older the beast skull dragon on the other on the other hand is a problem because i have no idea <laughs> on the black skull dragon now i know tournament pack three is super super old like probably like 2000 and four ish i think maybe even 2003 yeah so like super super old definitely very hard to find because i know like i mean tournament pack ultras from way back in the day already go for a lot of money and the super rares i think are no exception but the the beast skull if i had to guess probably somewhere in tier two and the exodia somewhere in tier three now the I, I i think those guesses but where yeah they, i think where exactly this has kind of been the problem today in general <laughs> <laughs> you've been in the ballpark for pretty much all of them except for, the, except for the, uh, the scarlet and the wild heart I guess. Hey, yeah hey you were you were used your used your lifeline so it worked <laughs> yeah okay the exodia i'm pretty sure is tier three and uh once again i'm metagaming because the two tier threes we had so far where 350 and 400 so we haven't had like a super high we have not had a super high uh tier three yet so i'm gonna just guess that this one is like around 500 so i'm gonna throw at you a 556 okay 556 it's just arbitrary numbers i'm really talking I'm talking myself into, into just throwing arbitrary numbers at you. It's yeah. You're talking a lot and then you're just making up a number. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not trying to sound super, you know, just like guessing, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah, yeah. For the B Skull Dragon, I'm gonna. Um, my gut tells me this is tier two because I, I, yeah, I can't imagine anyone paying over 250 for that, even though it is a very old and 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 rare card and cool card from the anime, which is why I'm gonna assign it something in in tier two, which is still a lot of money for such a card. I'm just gonna say a hundred and a hundred and forty seven and this is final because I really have no reason to I can't find anything else <laughs> nothing to fall back yeah, on there's You're nothing just I can like use to second guess or anything I'm just gonna say this is final and this might have just ruined the entire game or maybe it's maybe it's okay I don't know will you tell me okay Josh, I once again have good news and bad news. Uh, well, okay, there is good news. Which do you want first? Give me, give me the bad news first. In that case, we'll be talking about the Exodia. Oh, really? Yes. But don't tell me. It's, it's a tier three. Please tell me that. Okay. So you are in the correct tier. Okay. But you metagamed yourself out of the right area oh, okay. because you went based on my other tier threes, yeah. which when I made this quiz, I was like, all these tier threes are in the same ballpark, but I'm going to leave it that way just okay. to like 
you know, see if they know it. So this one is not $556. It's only $370. Is that my worst one so far then? Uh, I think so. Uh, okay, well. But there is good news. Ooh. The Beast Skull Dragon. Ooh. You basically nailed it. It's $150. Wait, what did I say? You said $147. Oh, it's never... Why is it the flat number every time today? <laughs> yeah, it's not usually flat numbers, but in this one, there's a there's like three or four that had flat numbers. Why would actually. you do that to me? It's never the flat number. Okay, well... <laughs> I, I don't pick the prices. I just look them up. It's not me. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I'm pretty... I'm still pretty happy about the Beast Skull. Honestly, not having a lifeline for these last five. I'm not too upset about these. I'm not too upset about no, the No, you last actually five. did pretty well for the last five. Yeah. We're gonna have to calculate see exactly how you did, but honestly, it feels like you did pretty well. I, maybe that's just a feeling, but we're about to check right now and see exactly where you fall with everybody else. I'm happy. I, I'm happy that I didn't completely fumble the back. That's already enough for me. It's, it's, as long as <laughs> chat can't make fun of me like completely for making last place, I'm, I'm walking out of this uh, happy. Oh, you definitely didn't get last place. Chat <laughs> is going to be is going to be blown away by how well you did. I hope at least. <laughs> All right, Josh, are you ready to hear how you did? Hit me with it. So the final numbers, your total quiz was $2,185 total. Mm -hmm. You were off by $449. Uh. But you hit nine out of 10 tiers, which is pretty impressive. So you get to subtract 90 out of that. So you're at $359 off, which if you divide that into 2,185, you are 16.43% off. You're like right smack dab in the middle okay. in terms of performance compared to a lot of other people. So chat will not be making fun of you. <laughs> you're completely average at knowing guess, guessing prices and stuff like that. That's all right. I can live with that. Hey, that was fun. That was fun. And I didn't completely mess it up. So so that's, that's, that's a win in my book. I'm happy with that. You did pretty well. And it was a little bit different you saw your your lifelines early which was fun and uh you actually got really close and almost nailed like two or three of them which was pretty awesome so uh josh thanks again for being on it it's been really really fun uh and uh good luck in your future you know professional endeavors hopefully you get some more wins uh you know pull out some ycs and some world stuff like that hey i'll try thank you for having me that was very fun i really enjoyed that hey. all right make sure you guys go check out josh on twitch and youtube he's streaming there he's posting videos stuff like that if you want to follow him in the future go check it out you guys can win uh, i think that's what 100 bucks 100 bucks for the giveaway just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know down below how josh did and who else you want to see on the series and i'll see you guys in the next one peace not bad, not bad. You're you're looking okay so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs>